Every gardener knows it's the finishing touches that really bring your garden together. From a perfectly manicured shrub to smooth, clean grass. Ryobi's new OnePlus 18 volt combination share shrubber is more than up to the task. This versatile tool is compact and lightweight, making it ideal for working with at any angle. The overmold grip ensures it's comfortable to use for extended periods of time. In shrubber mode, the mini hedge trimmer blade is 20 centimeters long with a blade gap of 10 millimeters. This means you can cut branches up to 10 millimeters thick. The dual action blades should be used for manicuring hedges. You can make precise straight cuts or perfect intricate curved surfaces. It's great for maintaining topiary and box hedges. To switch between the shrubber and shear modes, no tools are required. Simply unscrew the knob on the bottom, remove the current blade and replace it with the shear blade attachment. The 12 cm blade ensures a smooth cut, whether around a mailbox or a precise cut around a flower bed. If you have a large area to trim and would prefer to stand rather than kneel, the shear is compatible with an accessory pole. A simple, tool-free adjustment enables you to quickly switch between handheld and standing modes. The Ryobi Shear Shrubber is sold as a bear tool allowing you to build on your OnePlus collection without the need to pay for additional batteries and chargers. As part of the OnePlus system of over 70 great tools for the home and garden, this 18 volt OnePlus shear shrubber will work with any OnePlus battery. Number nine, introducing the new family of Ryobi OnePlus cordless 18 volt inflators. The high pressure power inflator is compact enough to take anywhere and powerful enough to inflate from zero to 150 PSI, making it perfect to top off tires and fill small inflatables. This pistol grip inflator has a large easy view gauge and onboard storage for the included sports equipment needle and high pressure nozzles. The high volume power inflator is perfect for fast high volume inflating and deflating of air mattresses and pool toys. This compact tool can inflate a standard twin air mattress in just 45 seconds. It can also be used as a portable bench top blower to keep your work surfaces clean from sawdust or debris. Need a tool that can handle both? The 18 volt dual function inflator deflator combines high pressure and high volume inflation. For high pressure, set the digital readout to automatically shut off when the desired pressure is reached. Easily switch between high pressure for tires and high volume for large inflatables. Plus, there's onboard storage for the included needles and nozzles. The complete line of Ryobi cordless inflators. Number eight, using an 18 volt cutout tool that can keep up with the high productivity standards of drywall contractors. The 18 volt cutout tool with a slim body design and 30,000 RPM for fast cutting. With the Makita four amp hour battery, this cordless tool is engineered to make enough cuts for up to 100 gang boxes on a single charge. The 4.0 amp hour battery provides 35% more runtime per charge than the 3.0 amp hour battery. And it charges in only 40 minutes, so it spends more time working and less time sitting on the charger. The star on your LXT tool and battery means they're equipped with star protection computer controls technology that protects against overload, over discharge, and overheating. Number seven. The RHH181 Bulldog definitely makes going out to the job site easy because you can just pull it right off the truck and it's going to give you hours of performance for big and small jobs. It's small, it's compact, and it really packed the punch. Seriously, when I used it, it worked just as well as my corded tool that's three times as big. It's a great tool to use. It's lightweight. It gets into small areas that the larger tool can't get into. And the fact that it's cordless works well too, so you're not dragging a cord behind you. Using the RHH 181 helps me during the day because I can go through many different types of materials. It's the hardest concrete and it will go through rebar very quickly without bogging down the motor. The brushless motor, it gives you so much more runtime, less maintenance because there's no brushes that wear out. The Bosch Bulldog was very powerful. It made my job real easy when I was doing the demo. I went through the material like nothing. I like the fact that it starts hitting instantly, so it's very accurate in starting the holes. The RHH 181 Bulldog 
hits as hard as my corded tool. I think it's the hardest hitting tool there is out there. We ran that thing all day long and it absolutely held in. Having a good quality tool that's powerful enough to do my job, it helps me in my day be more efficient. The Bosch Bulldog is superior to all other roto hammers. I depend on my tools on a daily basis. That's how I make my living and my tools need to perform for me day in and day out. And the Bosch Bulldog did that for me. Number six. This lopper is able to cut branches up to four inches in diameter, making it a smart choice for routine trimming and storm cleanup. The compact design means you can use it in tight spaces or when pruning trees and shrubs. Plus, the scissor type action and clamping jaws allow you to grab and cut multiple smaller branches quickly. It's equipped with a simple to use safety lock and hangs for storage when you're done. Number five. Milwaukee built all metal gears provide an industry leading 950 pounds of pushing force for even the highest viscosity materials. The variable speed trigger and six setting speed dial offer precise control of flow rate and constant flow technology maintains a constant beat. The exclusive Milwaukee anti-drip mechanism instantly relieves pressure to prevent material spilling. The gun has a quick change, rotating collar carriage design, which means quick, easy changes between 10 ounce, quart, and sausage style material containers. The tool dispenses over 200 tubes of construction adhesive on one charge with the red lithium compact battery. The tool offers a battery fuel gauge and is compatible with the red lithium compact or XC high capacity battery for increased productivity. Dispense sealants with more control and less fatigue with the Milwaukee M18 cordless caulk and adhesive gun, powered by Red Lithium. Number four. Don't let plug pipes drain your wallet. Reach for the 24-volt cordless automatic drain auger core tool from Sunjo to clear out clogs with less stress and strain than a manual drain auger, and for less than the price of a plumber visit. Weighing less than eight pounds, the portable handheld unit powers through clogged drains around your home or anywhere powers at a premium. Powered by Sunjo's exclusive eco-friendly Ion Plus lithium ion battery system, 24V DRN CLN offers multiple battery power options for rechargeable runtime with no fade power and performance and a world of 24 volt tool possibilities. The variable speed trigger adjusts with simply a squeeze from zero to 560 RPM to quickly break up blocked plumbing faster than traditional manual augers. The flexible steel cable extends, retracts, and rotates to feed easily down into and then back out of the drain. The quarter inch wide by 25 foot long metal cable with corkscrew tip dislodges obstructions up to 20 feet down the drain pipe and is designed for clearing conventional plumbing up to two inches in diameter. The onboard drum with built-in drain plug neatly coils up the retracted cable and drains easily to prevent standing water in the unit. And the included LED light provides extra visibility when a little light is needed in tight or dark spaces. Plus every Ion Plus tool is backed by our complete two-year warranty. So next time you've got a backed up drain, go with Joe and grab the 24V DRN CLN cordless automatic drain auger core tool from Sun Joe. Number three, start by prepping the surfaces that will be painted. Remove planters, vehicles, or anything you won't paint. Inspect the surfaces and repair or replace any damaged areas. You'll want any surfaces you paint to be thoroughly clean. So wash the garage door to remove any mold or dirt. Now that the door is prepped, let's prepare the job site. Remove or mask and tape lights, windows, and any other areas you don't want to paint. It's best to plan your project on a day that's not windy. The wind could affect your spray pattern. If there's only slight wind, spray with the direction it's blowing. Now, if you're covering up an uneven finish where you've done a lot of scraping, we recommend you spray a coat of primer before painting. This will allow the top coat to adhere stronger to the surface. Pour your paint through a strainer to get rid of any dried sediment. Put on some latex gloves and squeeze out the excess paint. Discard the strainer and gloves. Before using any sprayer, be sure you've read all safety and operation instructions. Don't forget eye protection. Also, be aware that sprayers can put out a lot of pressure, often enough to pierce skin, so never point the gun at yourself or anybody else. Before painting the garage door, practice spraying on a piece of cardboard. This will allow you to fine tune your technique and adjust the sprayer for the best spray pattern. Hold the gun 12 inches away from the surface. Start and stop the sprayer after each pass. 
Aim at the middle of each previous pass so you'll overlap it by 50%. Pull the trigger after starting each stroke. Release the trigger before the end of each stroke. The sprayer must be moving when the trigger is pulled and released. This will create a fuzzy edge around the entire spray pattern. Flex your wrist so the front of the sprayer remains perpendicular to the surface. Fanning the sprayer one way or the other will result in uneven spray patterns. Don't overreach. Just reach as far as it's comfortable. This is a good spray pattern. Notice the soft, even edges. Now it's time to spray. Frame in the door. Then spray all the way around windows. It's best to start at the top and work your way down. Spray horizontally, keeping the sprayer pointed perpendicular to the surface. Cover sections only as far as it's comfortable to reach. Once the paint's dry, remove all the tape, plastic, and coverings. Reattach the lights or any other hardware you may have removed. And that's all it takes to make your garage door look like new. Quick and easy. On to the next project. Number two. I have Adam. Um, been working on cars now all my life. So we're at uh, Lehigh Valley Grand Prix, and I am the go-kart mechanic. Keep 38 go-karts up and running nice and fast and safe. So here we have the 12-volt Ingersoll Rand belt sander. This thing is awesome. It'll take place of the uh, angle grinder, uh, which is large and hard to get in a lot of places. The head um, is variable. It can change to many different positions. It's got lots of power. I've been using it to clean up welds afterwards or uh, different brackets. Um, so this, this tool has helped out a lot. Um, where I'm usually using a hand file in tight areas where I can't get my large angle die grinder in or angle grinder, um, I get to use this. And it seems like more and more every day I find a new application to be able to use this tool. Number one. 